Hi, I'm Matt, this is Nerdy Woody, and we're telling stories. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the time a yappy dog and some bad timing almost got me and two of my friends in some serious trouble with our parents. Now, this was back in the bad old days, not long after Noah had gotten off the ark, and there were no such thing as mobile phones. Well, there were. The one I knew had one. And myself and two of my friends, two brothers, had gone off looking for something to do as young boys and want to do. And I knew of a place where you could get down to the beach from, through someone's someone's garden or it was a caravan park or something. It was you had to go through a gate and it looked like you probably weren't allowed there. You go down the steps and you come out on the beach. That'd be cool. Let's check that out. So that's what we did. We found the place and opened the gate. We went, opened the door, we went down the stairs and the tide was in. Mm. Yeah, that's not happening. So we start back up the stairs again. Well, that's been a washout. We'll go somewhere else. Let's go to the park. To the park? You want to go to the park? Yeah, let's go to the park. This was when the gappy dog started barking. Now, from the sounds of it, it was probably slightly larger than a small mouse. You know, the sort of the, the dog that's all barking. has <laughs> got no stature to back it up with. Yeah, one of those was yapping at the top. Now, the door's closed, so we can't see the, do the dog. But it turns out, the younger of my two friends, terrified of dogs. So we stood up, and halfway up the stairs, there's a, an opening, and it leads out onto a grassy ledge. So we sat there for a bit. This is a bit boring, isn't it? Looking at the sea. Mm, yep, tide's definitely in. I wonder if it's coming in or going out. So we debated that for a few minutes and concluded we hadn't got the foggiest notion. Well, no. What do I look like? A meteorologist? So I say, well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go up. Get the dog out of the way. Oh, please don't go, Matt. Oh. So we didn't. We stayed there. For like three hours or something. Trapped by a little yappy dog. Yep, 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 yep. Oh no, please don't go. Stuck, watching the tide go out. And if you've ever waited for the tide to go out, it's boring. Nothing happens. Psh, wave coming in. Psh, wave coming in. Cool, cool, seagulls. Three hours. No fishing rods, no books, no chewing gum, nothing. Just talking crap, as boys do. Eventually the tide comes out enough, there's a little band of sand. Like, we'll take our shoes and socks off, roll up our trousers, and just sort of paddle round the outcrop and get to the beach. So we did that, and walked along for a bit, and there's tiny bit of beach that was exposed down some steps up into the steps and dusted ourselves off complained about getting socks set. complained about getting sand between our toes not both towels or anything so we just take the best we can socks back on jeans back on and walked back to my mum's house or my house so we finally get back there my mum's not Terribly impressed with us. I'm like, ah, oh, we, we got trapped. <laughs> we had to wait for the tide to go out. We're trying to explain. I was just looking, it's like, what? <laughs> yeah, that was a bit embarrassing. And then, <laughs> then I begged my mum, I was like, oh, can you write a note to my friends, mum and dad? I won't get in trouble. My mum writes them a note. Walk them back home and then walk back again. And then it's pretty much time for tea in bed. The moral of this story is... I don't know, there's not moral of this story, it's just something silly I did. <laughs> Trapped by Yappy Dog and the Tide. And our own fears, really. I mean, the thing is, we could have got out of that situation at any time by just telling the dog, oh, shut up, I'm walking past it. But we didn't. We let our fears get the better of us, which trapped us. Until a much... Less convenient, 
avenue of escape presented itself. Which is sort of a reflection of life, if you think about it. If you let your fears control you, you will be trapped where you are for a long time. And sometimes that barking dog is nothing but a rat on a lead. Just walk past it, it's not going to do anything. What is it? It's like all of four inches tall. What's it going to do? Savage your shoelaces. So, yes. Not sure there's a moral, but there we go. That was the time. The tide and a little happy dog trapped me and two of my friends for hours and hours. Use the comments to tell me about some silliness that you got up to as a child. Or some time you let fear stop you from moving on. This is Nerdy Wordy. I'm Matt. We've been telling stories. Today we talked about how fear and the tide trapped us for ages. If you've got a similar story, why don't you share it in the comments? Give us a like, subscribe if you haven't already, ring that bell icon, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay nerdy.